she'll she's getting us on are we up this is Jason Anderson, Chairman of the Killing Town Council, and we are now out of executive session. It is 9.02 p.m. We are going to move on to item 6C, consideration and action on a resolution authorizing the town manager to execute a payment in lieu of taxes pilot agreement with Lake Road Generating. So moved. Second it. Motion has been made by Ms. Wakefield, second by Mr. Cretula. Um, Ms. Gloria, could you go over this? Sure. So the um, town has been in um, negotiations and mediation with Lake Regenerating for um, quite some time. We recently had a mediation session and um, the agreement that we have uh, come to is a six year agreement beginning with the grain list year of October 1st of 2022. Um, it is a payment in lieu of taxes. So it is fixing payment. Um, the first a year of payment is four million three hundred fifty thousand dollars and that payment escalates each year by three and a half percent so we did get an escalator factor in this agreement um and that escalate with that escalation factor it does bring in the sixth year of the contract it does bring the calculated fair market value um just under 341 million um, in value, which is uh, relatively close to what our assessed val our uh, current appraised value is. Um, the other component um, that they agreed to was um, our current agreement had, or the expired agreement has a clause in it that triggers if they increase capacity at the plant by cumulatively more than 10%, then the payment in lieu of taxes would also modify in accordance with that percentage. Um, they agreed to change that percentage from 10% to 3% for this agreement. So um, that's the, the framework. It's a six year agreement. The first payment um, for our grand list October 1st of 2022 is 4,350,000, increasing 3.5% annually for the full six years which ends the, the agreement with a payment of just under 5.2 million. Um, and it also uh, reduce, uh, makes that triggering um, language for increasing the pilot payment for any capacity increases that they may um, experience on a cumulative basis, moves it, reduces it from 10% capacity increase down to a 3% capacity increase. Um, <clears throat> again, I, the council chair, vice chair attended that mediation session. Um, we really feel that this is a fair and equitable settlement and um, it would require Lake Road generating to withdraw all tax appeals um, that are currently pending. Thank you. Um, I will say looking at the last payment of $2.9 million um, for the fiscal year of 2021, jumping to 2022, we're going up $1.4 million. So you're looking at about a 42, 43, 44% increase that first year over what they had been paying, which is a, is a substantial increase. And then it continues to increase to, um, uh, as Ms. Ms. Calorio said, the six year is almost $5.2 million, which at that point you're looking at um, about a 66% increase over what their payment was in 2021. So any questions, comments from council? All right, seeing no comments. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. We'll now move on in the agenda. Next item up, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second it. Made by Mr. Randelski and I believe Ula beat you to it, Kevin. <laughs> Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>